Shumai everyone and welcome to this graphic design lesson on packaging. So your learning objectives for today, you're going to be learning more about packaging design, understand how packaging is important for selling a product, view some interesting packaging designs and design your own packaging for a particular product that you choose. First of all, I'd like to ask you, why do you think packaging is so important? So maybe pause the video or take a minute just to think to yourself. So packaging is not only there to look attractive or to make us want to buy something, it's also there to inform us. So it's really important that we know what the product is. If I walked into a shop and everything was without packaging, we wouldn't know any allergen information, we wouldn't know what the product was for, we wouldn't know how to use it, and we wouldn't know its intended purpose. However, packaging doesn't have to be boring. For example, these bags were created by Lego, which made people look like they had Lego hands. <laughs> and it just goes to show how fun you can be with your packaging designs, as long as they're practical as well. These are some examples of common mainstream packaging that you might recognise. So for example, we have Fairy Liquid, we've got LaCroix, and we've got Walker's Crisps. And you can see how they've utilised colour as a way to identify the product and to sell the product. Here are some other examples of really innovative packaging, and they specifically focus on textiles. So we've got wool, a shirt, and some rope. Can you see how they've creatively designed the packaging around each product? And perhaps this will give you some ideas for your main task as well. I also have some additional examples here just to show you what you can do with your own packaging designs. So we've got um, a baguette that looks like a gnome's head. We've got some chewing gum that makes it look like a mouth when you open it. And we've got some pasta that looks like it creates clothes. So fun packaging is really important. It can sell a product and make it stand out on a supermarket shelf. And this leads me on to your brief task or main task. So today what I'd like you to do is design some packaging based on a product that you choose. So I'm going to give you a list on the screen now. So perhaps pause the video and have a look at that. Choose one of them and create some packaging design for me. So think about the colour, think about the shape, think about perhaps the practicality of it. Does it inform me of everything I need to know about that product? Will it have a barcode on it so I can scan it? And when you're carrying out your task, I'd like you to do it on half an A4 piece of paper with a pen and some colour and pencils. So you're going to have your product name at the top of the sheet. And then underneath, you're going to start sketching out some ideas. And by the end of the lesson, I'd like you to have coloured it in and include lots of annotation. So here's an example that I did. So for example, I chose crisps. And then what I did was I designed some crisps packaging. So I've got the name of my product, which I called Beer Breed, which means snack in Welsh. I've got a transparent pocket, which shows the crisps inside. I've also got some information along the top of the face and I've chosen my colours for my crisp packaging too. So hopefully you get a little bit more of an idea of what you're going to do now. Best of luck and hoil for now. Bye guys.